Good afternoon. I'm Alicia from Air Compressor Services in Greenville, South Carolina. Today we're going to show you step-by-step -step how to change the air oil separator in your air compressor. Please note, before beginning any air compressor maintenance, always have your personal protective equipment. Let's get started. Make sure your area is clear and free from hazards. Materials needed are gloves, cloths, oil pan, lockout tagout mechanism, molly grease, and a comprehensive toolkit. We will specify tools as they're used in the video. Lockout tagout is the first and most important part of safety protocol. Notice our technician during the process. As he locks out the handle, he uses his right hand and turns to the left. This is to avoid a possible arc flash. He then checks to make sure the panel is locked securely. Check the control panel to verify that the power is truly disconnected. Isolate or turn off the air to the system. Using a wrench, loosen the sump pressure monitoring line. Tap the connection to verify there's no air pressure left in the unit before the install. The gauge should also read zero. Changing out the separator starts with loosening the tubes, piping, and control lines from the top of the sump tank. Our technician is using a combination wrench and channel lock pliers during this process. Disconnect the discharge pipe from the minimum pressure check valve by removing the coupling. Our technician used a ratcheting combination wrench in tandem with channel lock pliers for this process. Remove the bolts from the sump tank lid. For this process, our technician uses an impact driver. For bolts in hard to reach areas, he uses channel lock pliers. Remove the bolts by hand and then set aside carefully. Next, disconnect the scavenge line from top of the sump tank lid and remove it from the tank. Carefully remove the sump tank lid. Remove the saturated separator, being careful that no dust or dirt falls into the tank. Install the new separator in the sump tank once again, being careful to ensure no dust or dirt falls into the tank. Clean the sump tank and separator surfaces with a clean cloth. Clean the lid with a clean cloth to prepare the surface of the lid. Add O-ring grease to the tank before placing the O-ring in position. Replace the sump tank lid carefully, affixing the discharge pipe over the minimum pressure check valve, and check alignment before starting to replace the bolts. Add the bolts to the top of the lid, hand tightening them to start. A ratchet wrench can then be used to make the bolts snug. Using a torque wrench adjusted to the correct torque spec based on your sump tank, tighten the sump tank lid bolts completely. Use a star pattern sequence to ensure evenly distributed force across the sump tank lid. Connect the discharge pipe to the minimum pressure check valve by tightening the clamp over the coupling. Reinstall the scavenge line and tighten the connection on top of the sump tank lid. Now reinstall the air lines, blow down valve, and control line valves to the top of the sump tank lid. Make sure all fittings are tight. Don't forget to reconnect the sump pressure monitoring line prior to turning on the air to the system. Slowly turn the air supply valve to the on position. Check for any air leaks on top of the sump tank lid. It is now safe to remove the lockout tagout mechanism. Just like before, turn away as you power on the panel.